1998's Blade is absolutely fantastic, and to give you a short summary of why, it's because it's dead good, I'd give it a 10 if I could. From the very first introduction of Blade, when they go to this vampire bloodbath rave going on with that music. <laughs> This fucker who isn't Bill Paxton, as a kid I always thought it was Bill Paxton. You know, I was like, it's that guy with a little dick. I got a little dick, it's pathetic. What you got down there, little man? Oh, that's my heat seeker. I'll bet it is. Ah! It's not the guy with a little dick. It's just some other punk who comes into a vampire rave not knowing what he's doing. Ah! He scrambles around, he gets punched around a bit and he lands at the feet of Blade. Now whoever's in charge of the sound design, whether this was like the composer's decision or it was just a sound designer of, of some creative mind, that big kind of metal bang noise when his feet are there never gets old, super cool. You got that fantastic tracking up shot and the pacing of the editing is so well played where it's not fully panned up. To show him in that one close up, you get some more reactionary shots, some time to digest like, ooh, Something's gonna go down. And then you get it in a wide shot. All these horrific vampire creatures just parting out the way for Blade. And of course, you get a little bit of dialogue here to make sure the audience knows what's going on. It's Blade. It's the Daywalker. And it's someone going, Oh, it's the Daywalker. He's so I'm surprised they didn't say, Oh, that's the person who kills us. And they didn't just wait for the action to show you. But uh, not so bad. I'm not too bothered about that. Just, just a little bit. But then shit gets real. You see Wesley Snipes, he looks fantastic. We also get in this beginning scene, obviously just to kick the film off, some really fun, cool action. This bloody poster shot right here, pretty awesome. And we get a little bit of humour too. Because horrendous violence is humorous to me, and I'm broken as a person. <laughs> Quick note, I love the little details of films that really sell you on a moment. So one clear example of that for me in this fight scene is just the sound of his shotgun being flung across the room. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know how he did it. It's pretty good, it's very impressive, I loved it. Little moment when he hits it down and shotguns a head off. You hear a lot of directors talk about how action is, it has to be musical. It has to have a rhythm to it, it has to have motion. And I definitely think Blade has it all in the right areas. You see every action scene. The editor's done a great job of getting that rhythm involved in the different move between shots and how Wesley Snipes just starts slapping ass. <laughs> it is a treat. And not only that, if you look at the different sort of superhero movies that were coming out in the 90s, <laughs> Joel Schumacher maybe single-handedly just nuked everything good about superhero movies in the 90s at a certain point. And I think a lot of studios were like, well, we need to revitalize this insanity that Schumacher's left us with. So they said, hey, why don't we just invest in a bunch of more violent properties? You had things like Spawn, film, the animated show is fantastic, give that a watch. And then everyone's favorite, take the fucking elephant film. Take it down, take it. <laughs> Dark Man by Sam Raimi. Uh, you know who made a little film that not many people know. Can't speak, Spider-Man. <laughs> we can rule this now, Spider-Man. But yeah, edgy films were sort of in, and Blade is, well, I'd say it's the best of all of them. You crack this film on, I guarantee, I goddamn guarantee you'll have a good time with it. It's Fun. It is humorous in the right places. Another problem with modern superhero films, they all have to be, have running gags and jokes that don't quite land at times. Whereas Blade has a bunch of them and you're like, yeah, that'll do. Like this. Motherfucker, are you out of your damn mind? This film just oozes cool and Wesley Snipes was born to play Blade. It's a shame that the other films aren't quite as good you know, and three, I have distinct memories of Blade Trinity being 
god awful. And it has, you know, as Brian Reynolds. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I can't say Ryan. As <laughs> Ryan Reynolds in it. And Jessica Beale. It was like a match made in heaven, but it turned out it was absolute trash. <laughs> And I want to highlight a few things and not, you know, take too much of a dump on modern superhero films and the movie making surrounding it, but when you watch Blade, it has all of these creative little decisions inside of it that make it really stand out. All the sound design work, you know, whoever's involved with the sound design, uh, big applause to them because it is just absolutely banging, banging, dead good, banging, dead good, rate good, it, really are. It. Because it's got that shotgun sound again. <laughs> It's also got great crunches and punches. It goes cartoony and goofy at the end, it's like. Get stupid after a while, and you're kind of like, what the what the hell's going on? But also the cinematography of it, it the way it looks, is absolutely gorgeous. A really nice color grade going on with the like steely blues. Really contrasts with all the blood and horrific violence sort of shit in the background. Speaking of which, there's this scene where the cop gets hilariously beat the shit out of. <laughs> It's great! It's funny! Violence is funny, kids. That's all I've ever learned about movies. Violence is fun. You know, it's not always fun. But in this movie it is. This cop gets a royal beating and... <laughs> and the actor who plays that cop, that is some good. I have had the shit smacked out of me and I, I don't know what's going on. Where am I? <laughs> I'm a little bit off topic here, but the point being is the cinematography around the moment when the cop comes back to his car after having a run in with Blade and then Blade is following him. You could just shoot it really simply, you know, willy nilly, just like, oh, I'm being followed and uh, Blade's after me. He's in the background every now and then. This stuff's insane. There's like a backdrop behind Wesley Snipes where it's just like, it's flying by like an old movie. The cops one is disjointed. There's loads of strange things to emphasize the vampire infestation in the city in the background with, well, not so subtly with this one. You know. <laughs> is that a puma noise? Is that what they use in Ratata? The band, that old band that no one's gonna get this reference. I should just fucking cut this bit out of the video to be honest with you. I don't know why, I, I don't know what am I doing with my life? But this sort of insanity, I suppose can be hit and miss for people, but I love it. It's just creative and fun and different as well. There's loads of things in this film that you watch and go, what the hell is this? This is great, this is bizarre. Oh! I didn't even mention Whistler. Chris Christopherson is just a treat in this film. Wesley Snipes, you know, top billing, fantastic. Just below him is Chris Christopherson. He is great. Catch you fuckers at a bad time. He's just absolutely the best. He's just the tits. He's so fucking good with that big. That's how he sounds. That's how. Sorry, Chris Christopherson. Oh, I forgot to mention violence being funny. Not many films you can just throw kids through goddamn bus shelters. It's great! I want to see it again! So to sum up my rambling as to why you should watch Blade, Wesley Snipes is super cool, the filmmaking is really unique and fun and fresh. Chris Christopherson's in it and he goes <laughs> Chris Christopherson's in it and he goes <laughs> Also a kid gets thrown through glass And she's fine! She's fine! And Blade's like Go home kid Go home she should be like, oh, my legs are broken! But nah, she runs away. Alright, so if nothing else convinces you, apart from the awesome sound work, cinematography, great action, Wesley Snipes, Chris Christopherson, children being smashed through windows, really, really violent stuff going on, unique filmmaking, I would say to you this, you just need to see this last line. Bit of a spoiler here, but this is the final line Blade says to the main villain. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate up hill. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. I enjoyed you being here. I hope you have a wonderful time. This is being released near Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love you very much. I'll see you soon. All right, all right. We're done.